Hey YouTube, Merrick Pie here again. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I made using those water latches that I discovered earlier today. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll eventually show you. But for a more in-depth look, you can go to my YouTube video about the water latch. Uh, it's, I think it's my third video on my channel, or you can just type in water latch on YouTube search. But uh, I decided to make an a programmable uh, combination lock. So, this I guess this is probably version 1 because it's kind of bulky. But here I'm going to show it in action and then I'll explain what's going on. So, I'm going to give a hint that my combo I have it set to 1 and 3. If we count this 1 2 3, my combo right now is 1 3. So, in order to activate this redstone. I put my water here and I wait. Boom. Redstone activated. I take the water out. Still activated. That's good. I go, I place my redstone here. Well, not, not my redstone, my water here. Give it a little time. There we go. I can take my water out. I said one and three need to be activated. They are. I go check my door and it is open. Okay. If you ever uh, say I thought it was one, two, three. Put my water right here. All three of them are activated. Door is closed. Obviously I did something wrong. So I needed to reset the system. Place my water here. Give it a little time. And there we go. It is completely reset. Take the water out, and we're good to go. So, give me a sec, and I'll show you how it all works. So, here's the back. Uh, like I said, version 1, a little bulky, a little hard to see. But I did change, this used to all be stone, and I decided to change the glass so that I can get a little bit better view. Here are our three water latches, our three water RS Nor latches that I have to act as the uh, buttons for the combination lock. So this is the first button, that first torch that we saw, like number one. This is number two, and this is number three. So let me go put some water into number one, and I'll show you what happens, and you'll be able to see what happens. I put water into one, water flows through this channel, comes down here, pushes the boat onto those pressure pads, which cause this light to go. In addition, it sends a positive current to this XOR latch, which, if you don't know what XOR latches are, it sends a positive current if the two inputs represented by this block and this block or I guess those two torches on top of those blocks if the two if the currents for the inputs are different it will send a positive current out so I have it right now since I've got uh, since I want that to be on I need to make sure that the current going to this input is off which is what I have on my little program over here. If I were to turn that on, it would screw up my system. So I have three of these going. One going over here, all the way to this AND gate, this little vertical AND gate. And in order for a positive current to exit, all three of these need to be off which would cause this to turn on. So, it says I'm still missing one piece. So I go check back. It's missing the third piece. Take my water out. Place it into here. Give it a little time. And there we go. This water flows. It's a little harder to see here, but it just flows just like before. It has to end one block above the pool that it's in 
a oh, little bit of lag, so that the uh, it has a little decline that juts out and pushes the uh, pushes the boat both down and out. So I've got both of those things going. And since it's an RS Norv, it actually doesn't really matter if I have anything going to the input after I've used it once. That's why you can do this with only one bucket and one thing of water. The reset was probably the hardest thing to actually get working. Because you have to use, ooh, like again, you have to use the odd physics of water to sort of get three branches. But what happens is it sends down here, it branches off three different ways, and all three of them go to this spot on their water latch, which causes the boat to get off those pressure plates and back to its starting position. Same thing for here, same thing for here. Uh, obviously this is uh, unlimited, it can be expanded to as many uh, buttons as you want, it's just definitely not as um, economical, I guess that's a word, as um, using just pure redstone, but if you're looking for maybe a, a different, different way to go about it, uh, something a little more unique, uh, though using these water latches as your uh, RS Nor latches for your ordered combination lock. I guess not ordered combination lock, just combination lock. Uh, I've found that it works pretty well. I haven't really had any hiccups so far. So, uh, thanks again.